What up guys, Annie Tier Guild Forever, going to be doing a brief little review for Smallville uh, ep Season 1, Episodes 7, 8, and 9. Sorry if it took a bit for this to come out. Uh, there was a little commotion I had yesterday. It was, it, it was important to me, but it, it ended up being okay, so I apologize for the delay. It was on, it was my fault, okay? So, um, I apologize, but hey, here it is. Um, also, just to let you guys know... Um, before I get into the review, make sure you hit that like button, comment, hit that sub button if you had not if you have not subbed already, and make sure to watch this video all the way through, or at the very least see as much as you can, so we can finally um, hit that uh, YouTube algorithm. While at the same time, um, we are on the road to 2K. We're on, we're like less than 800 subscribers away, so. Come on, so I'm hoping at the maybe not the end of the year, but at least early next year to at least be uh, monetized or at the very least hit 2K. Well, that's not the very least, that's still something. So, yeah, 2K beginning of next year or at least like hit the YouTube algorithm to where I can finally be monetized. So, yeah, let's get into this review again. I apologize, commotion yesterday was on me, but. Yeah, they're out. And j another thing I want to say is that this isn't the only thing I'll be reacting to today. I'll also be reacting to JoJo. That's going to come up tonight. Patreon is going to be Zero no Sukaima. I've never seen that anime. Never even heard of it. Um, a friend of mine told me about it. That's how I know about it. Like, we, A friend of mine told me the title and gave not really a synopsis, but pretty much gave me an idea of how it's like. But it's fine. It's fine. Uh, the, cause the one, I find it funny that the one thing my friend double made sure to let me know, like right off the bat is that by the way, warning, the girl in zero, no Sukaima is actually a Sundere. I'm like, ah, snap. Here we go with these Sundere's again, man. I tell you, <laughs> I'm joking. It's fine. It's fine though. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to be harsh on it. I'm going to be open-minded as well as be as humble as I can be. Um, look forward to people. And then afterwards today, uh, a new Patreon poll. Sorry, guys. Um, a little tired because I had my morning jog, as well as I was walking around. I was actually walking around a lot today due to there was Pokemon Go community. Um, anyway, that's just personal stuff. But yeah, so um, looks like for the Smallville series, things are getting very heated right now. For example, um, I really thought... Like Philip, Philip or Phil or what? That one guy, that one, uh, uh, that one officer that basically had dirt on a uh, Clark and was threatening to like expose him if he didn't do what he asked. I was. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Like when I saw that, I'm like, yo, what is he gonna do? Like, what is he really gonna do to get out of this situation? The guy knows. And has dirt on him that he is not of this world. Like, well, at least not a normal human. He was basically going to use him for robbery. And then he was going to forge the crime scene to where it fits the situation. And he can just shift the blame onto someone else. He was basically making Clark do what he, his principle goes against. Like, stealing hurting anyone that gets in the way like this guy tried to make Clark do all his dirty work the thing is though it was hard to do because I felt really bad for the father because the I, it, it literally looked like the father was mentally going through it due to the fact that look I don't want my son exposed to these things I want him to have a normal high school life be happy with your friends and all that stuff but at the same time, I can't just ignore this man. Otherwise, my son is going to get taken away from me. I felt that, man. The father was in a lose-lose situation. He didn't want to lose his son. But at the same time, he didn't want his son exposed to this world. Because at the, because to some degree, if his son is exposed to this too much, it could affect his growth. He doesn't want his son to be some super-powered villain or some super-powered thief. <laughs> then again... 
he basically becomes a villain in Injustice, for those that know the game series. And uh, I also heard rumors that they're going to be releasing uh, the Injustice uh, animated film. I'd be more than happy to react to that, man. The Injustice, like, uh, DC um, uh, series is probably one of my favorite. Hmm. Is that my favorite? I'm trying to think. Because I definitely like the... Uh, Bat metal, uh, bat metal, uh, si uh stories, because those are very interesting, like uh, the Batman Who Laughs, uh, Red Death, which basically is, um, well, the Batman Who's Laughs is pretty much the Batman if he was, like, he, if Batman became the Joker, Red Death, which is uh, pretty much an evil Batman Flash, um, disaster, uh, so on and so forth. The, the, the list can go on, and. Yeah, so I was I was very concerned for Clark in that situation. His <laughs> his father got arrested, and damn, dude, like that sucked, man. His father got arrested, and now I, I thought it was gonna be like a long, um, prolonged uh, story right there with that. Like it was gonna be prolonged, and like it was gonna be something that'll probably last maybe one more, or two more episodes at best. That would have been interesting, but it's fine. It ended fine, and everything worked out. Oh, man. He died. To be honest, though, that dude had to die. Like, no matter what happens, no matter what anyone says, no matter what, no matter what anyone thinks, the, the bastard had to die. Because if he didn't die, he was eventually going to expose Clark, and there goes Clark's life, as well as what could have happened to his parents. So, honestly... The guy dying was the best result. It sounds messed up, but if he lived, Clark is at risk. But now that he's dead, that possibility is now no longer a problem. The bigger issue toward the end of episode 9 is that Lex noticed a moving figure moving extremely fast. Now... From what I saw from the videotape, I don't think he got a good, like, view that it was Clark. I think he can see enough to where it's like... Like, you can't tell it's Clark, but you can probably distinguish a person, so... And the only other person there was Clark. I have, I'm pretty sure, like, he suspects Clark of doing all this. And the worst part is... I was even going to suggest that Clark, like, you know, throughout my reaction, I was going to suggest that Clark just tell Lex, like, look, man, I'm pretty much an alien that caused the whole meteorite thing. I'm the cause of all that. I'm the cause for all the craziness that's happening on Smallville. Well, technically, he's not the cause, but his impact was the cause. It honestly wasn't his fault, honestly. So, if he told him that, Lex knew... I wonder, would he have still went out of his way to save Clark? He might have saved Clark, but at the same time, it's like, what would, Le like, yeah, Lex is curious to find out the truth about Clark, as well as, um, about, like, you know, his, his, de questioning his deaths and everything Clark does. Like, he's seen firsthand of what Clark is capable of, especially, well, the only time he's ever seen it is when that guy, uh, The one guy that was having the jitter problems and he was able to lift him and Lex up. That was the one moment he really got to see like what he's capable of. And then like even though I did say like yeah if he told Lex, Lex would definitely have the power to get him out of this situation without getting his hands dirty. But at the same time I just I just really sat down and think about it. Th like really gave it some thought what would lex do if he had that info like if he had dirt on clark like he kn if he knew what he was what was he gonna do once he has that info was he gonna expose him is he gonna use him frame him excuse me i'm sorry just recently ate was he gonna use him blackmail him like what was he gonna use like it's just 
it just makes me like wonder like okay like you have this info on Clark what would you do now that you have it are you planning to make him your guinea pig are you planning to make him like I don't know um serve you like kind of deal or gain his power I don't know I just feel like if Lex I, I don't know man I personally think that whether Lex knew or Philip or F F that one other old man like Regardless which, uh, whether either one knew about a secret, they were going to have him or force him into things that he didn't want to do. So, even though I did initially say that he should have told Lex, now after seeing this, I'm actually glad he didn't. Because it probably would have been a lot worse if Lex knew. But then again, I'm not 100% certain. Other than that, guys, that's it for me. Make sure you give this video... 20 likes 20 likes or more if you give this video 20 likes or more i'll do another set of episodes for smallville okay so the more likes we get the higher chance we can see some more smallville you know what i mean so make sure to like up this video in order to get more episodes of smallville out there other than that, um, I'm very much happy with this series. It's fantastic, honestly. This is probably one of the best, like, live action adaption to, like, the whole comic book uh, as a series for the origin of Clark Kent and how he rises and becomes the great Superman. Funny thing is, is that that little jewel or pretty much, like, expensive, like, treasure that was in that one museum or whatever it was that that that, that was that was like a little inside like yeah you're gonna you're gonna be wearing something not maybe not as flashy but you're gonna be wearing something similar to this buddy you will and uh yeah i'm, I'm just looking forward to what comes after this but again i need you guys to like it up if you want that to happen that's it for me guys peace i'm out